Hi, I'm Dr. Dindy Engelman. I'm a New York City dermatologist, and I'm here today in my Upper East Side office to talk to you about some of the common skincare concerns that I see every day with my patients. Jillian, Dr. Dindy's ready for you. Thank you for coming today. Oh, Tell me how I can be helpful. So my biggest concern, and I struggle with it literally year round, it's really annoying, is I have really dry skin. Okay. I would say in the summer, it tends to get more red than dry, mm -hmm. and then in the winter is when everywhere is just patchy, flaky, okay. which makes it hard to wear makeup. But alcohol is definitely just some sort of trigger for me. The okay. minute I have a sip, it doesn't even have to be a large amount. Mm -hmm. I just get completely flushed, particularly from yeah. here to like all the way down. Yeah, yeah. Because what I'm reading on you is something called erythrotelangiectatic rosacea. So okay. let's say that five times fast. Yes. Um, and that is just under the umbrella of rosacea. Okay. And there are multiple types of rosacea. Yours is actually the best one oh, to okay. have, if you have to have it. Yeah. Um, because it doesn't mean that you're gonna get those bumps or you know the WC Fields rhinophyma nose, which also is a variant of rosacea. Mm -hmm. And you can also get rosacea in the eye. But this one just means that you've got a lot of vascularity that's very superficial in the skin, and your skin type being fair mm -hmm. and light-eyed is more prone to showing redness. Okay. And then the reason that I was asking about time of year, temperature, food triggers, emotional triggers, is those are things that really cause us to vasodilate. So meaning okay. those superficial vessels are getting wider, and then it reads as more red. Okay. And so there are multiple ways that we can address that and help to minimize the redness and actually help to hydrate the skin and smooth it as well. Can yes. you walk me through what you're using right now? Sure, so I have, I guess the only thing I really change on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. is my moisturizer, okay. but I always, which I'm sure you'll be happy here, I always wear sunscreen Good. every day, okay. which is great, but I start with my serum, so I use Vichy Mineral 89, which I really like, it just feels very like hydrating, almost like water on mm -hmm. my skin, which I like. Then I follow with, this is new for me, I'm new to cannabis and CBD mm -hmm. products, so I incorporated this First Aid Beauty, it's like a cannabis and oak dry mm -hmm. oil. Feels very light and I like to put that on before my moisturizer. Okay. Then I use my avocado eye cream, which is also a new ingredient for me, but it feels like really nourishing and okay. really soft on me. Mm -hmm. And then at night I use a heavier cream, right. which I don't know why at night it feels better because I'm not outside, I'm not sweating. Yeah. It's not as light as my CeraVe like AM facial mm -hmm. lotion, which is my before sunscreen, it's my last step. Okay. And then I don't put sunscreen on at night because obviously I'm not going out, but yeah. yeah. And then I follow up with the highest SPF I can manage because okay. I'm very fair. Okay, yeah. well I'm proud of you for that. So it sounds like you are doing everything in your power Thank you. to help try. to calm things down. Yeah. Um, Medically, and as a dermatologist, I can offer to you some prescriptions that would mm -hmm. help to address the redness and the underlying inflammation that's yes. there. And there are two in particular. Uh, one is called azelaic acid, and it's available by prescription. There are some over-the-counter variants of that as well, but that's used to help with, um, to address rosacea and may help to calm down some of the redness. Mm -hmm. And then there's another one that's called Sulantra, that's in a Cetaphil base, which is very hydrating. So it's almost like a medical, medicated moisturizer. Okay. So you'd use that in the morning. Okay. And that should also help to address some of the redness. Okay. So we've got a lot of different options for you in order to try. We can play with the samples, see what works best for you. For sure. And then I also want to give you some things to calm the skin. I've got um, this, two things. One is, um, They're both green, and <laughs> you'll see the things that are made for um, red states. You know, red and green are across each other on yeah, the color wheel, so they cancel each other out. Uh -huh. So it helps to minimize the underlying redness that's in the skin. Okay. And so this is called Phyto Plus, and it's a botanical gel that helps with redness. And okay. that can help to um, address hyperpigmentation, which we have some, you know, sunspots and cute freckles from yeah. <laughs> years ago. Fun in the sun, I know you're protecting yourself now. And then this Phyto Corrective um, mask is great for okay. once or twice a week to really bring down the redness. If you've been really hot, you've been emotional, you've had your wine, yeah. you know, things that really make you flush, this will take the red out and it feels really cooling and it's a gel mask that's hydrating and it may help to give you added benefit of hydration into the skin as well. Yeah. 
So those are some things that I would do on top of the prescription medicines that I was going to offer to you. Okay, great. And then I had some questions about ingredients mm -hmm. in particular because mm -hmm. I feel like I read so much about what something like CBD oil does or something like avocado does, which mm -hmm. is why I'm kind of trying them out yeah. in what I put in yeah. my routine, but I kind of want to know just like what ingredients I should be using yeah. to help with hydration. The reality is there is real science and we do have receptors in the skin that respond to topical cannabinoid containing products. Mm -hmm. So there is benefit. You'll see it in a lot of muscle rubs that people have like painful, painful muscles after working out. Mm -hmm. These are different things that really have science in them. As far as an ultra hydrator for you, mm -hmm. I don't know that it's anything to do with the cannabinoid in it or mm -hmm. just that it's in an oil base, quite gotcha. honestly. Okay. But that means that doesn't mean that it's bad and if you like it, by all means, I yeah. like oil based things. I would also think about using an oil cleanser for you. Oh interesting. Something okay. really I thought that was just kind of for acne and like oily yeah. skin. Okay. I know, it, but it is really good for people who either have mature skin or very sensitive skin okay. because it's helping to dissolve away makeup and you know New York City pollution and grime and whatever else yeah. is on our skin, um, but also not doesn't have any kind of detergent, any kind of soap, so it's a gentle way to get the day off so that we can get our products on. Gotcha. Um, and so that's another thing that I would offer to you that would be great just as far as little tweaks that we can make in our routine to help okay. enhance the hydration level in your skin and also decrease some of the underlying inflammation, which is reading as redness. Gotcha. And then what are like some habits in my day-to-day, -day, maybe not just related to skincare, maybe lifestyle, that also kind of can irritate it or make me drier than I want to be? Yeah, Things so that an easy, easy way to help to boost the hydration in your skin is to yeah. actually sleep with a humidifier by your bed. Oh, I know. I mean, people always think it's about like total body water yeah. intake, and it's not. It's all about the amount of oil glands in your skin, and you just have fewer than somebody who has really oily acne prone skin. Okay. And so if we are increasing the ambient humidity in our environment, then that actually helps to with our skin to maintain its hydration. Perfect. Any other questions I can have? No, I think that was pretty much it. I'm excited to try out the redness. That's definitely yeah. one of my I favorite think, things. I think yeah. you'll be really happy. I and so, yeah. um, a lot of my patients, after we bring that redness down and their tone is more even, they're like, you've changed my life. Yeah, not please today. change my life. I'll change I would love you to change And my life. even if the topicals don't do it, don't think that all hope is lost. There's yeah. a great laser that we can do to really help to address those vessels. Okay. There are plenty of things, but I always start with less is more, and we mm -hmm. do what we can at home, and if it's not there, then we'll do a little extras to get us over the finish line. Okay, sounds, sounds good. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for watching SkinCare.com. Please stay tuned for the next episode. There's lots to come.